Get ready with me why I tell you why I think overseas people work more than Japanese people. I'm sorry, but my English is not great. Recently, I really think Japanese people work less than overseas people. I've been thinking overseas people look so chill and look so having fun always. That's one of the reasons that I started to use English and started to have a conversation with overseas people. For example, I remember there were two students from Australia when I was in high school. They were at my high school for maybe two weeks or three weeks and I didn't talk to them at all. But what I remember really well was they started to eat during the class. And I was like, why you started to eat without asking? Like even though you ask that you're gonna get rejected, but why you started to eat during the class in high school? Though of course teacher can't just say anything to them because the teacher cannot speak English. So they still keep eating. So I was like, oh, maybe overseas country is easy vibes, maybe more fun. But, 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 but I recently I really think Overseas people, especially Americans, work really harder than other Japanese people. For example, my American friends, they work really hard, especially working for a bank or for a big company as an engineer or a dentist or about to be a dentist. They look work so hard. Is anyone like like do, doing like this? It's so scary. I'm sorry, but like, it's so comfy. Also, most of my Japanese students working in the United States, they work really hard. They started to work from 8 or 9 a.m. until like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Maybe because the generation, upper millennial, in general, all over the world, like on this earth, people, upper millennial generation work really hard. I'm sorry, our generation, we don't work a lot. But still, my Japanese friends work really hard in Japan too, especially working for really traditional Japanese company like government, insurance, real estate. Those jobs are really like hard. People tend to overwork a lot. But when I was in work as an system engineer, I could choose my time with what time I started to work or what time I finished my work. And of course, when I was busy, like, I overworked sometimes, but not like every day. Also, there was no drinking party culture in my company. So I never had to get drink with my boss before. But the most important thing is my friends who go get drink with their boss every single day, they want to drink with them. They look so fun. They are having fun. So some people are really complaining, oh my god, I want to go get drink. But some people are really having fun. And not gonna lie, for a tra trading company or a real estate company or insurance company, if you go to the drinking party or not, maybe matters for their promotions. Or, yeah, I don't know. If it's like really traditional Japanese company, it does matter if you go drinking party or not. I don't know, I don't know. I've seen the video that overseas people worried about if they got in a Japanese company, they need to work overwork. I don't think you need to worry about those things as long as you don't speak fluent Japanese. I don't think you can get in those traditional companies if, if you don't speak fluent Japanese. Or if you have like really high skills for getting the company. But usually, like as long as you don't speak fluent Japanese, even though you get in that company, the company is not going to expect you to act like Japanese people, especially for drinking. That's why I always say like, living in Japan as a Japanese and living in Japan as a foreigner is totally different experiences. And it's so cute. I don't have a time for my hair. So yeah, I feel like you don't ha guys have to worry about those things. So have a good night, guys. Bye.